is the most dangerous terrorist group uh, ever existed. So you can't go there and uh, uh, hand them flowers. So you have to go with full force. Set to a melodramatic film score, a Syrian Kurdish video documents the advance against the dark forces of the Caliphate. The reality is dramatic enough. Aided by US-led airstrikes and secular Syrian rebel groups, the Kurds today claim to have taken total control of a town just 30 miles short of the gates of Raqqa city, de facto capital of the self-declared Islamic State. <laughs> Kurdish frontline forces include thousands of female fighters. They're reputed to put the fear of God into the black flag commandos. <laughs> Rumor has it, that a jihadi killed in battle by a woman won't qualify for his reward of 72 virgins when he gets to paradise. Some say he's automatically disqualified from going to paradise at all. <laughs> Jihadist imams have reportedly denied this. Four entirely female battalions operate as Peshmerga fighters in Iraqi Kurdistan next door. They played a key role in last year's rescue of Yazidis from Sinjar Mountain. Diana Nami is a Peshmerga veteran who says if IS wins, women lose control of their lives, their homes and their bodies. ISIS actually what they have done uh, against the women by raping them, by selling them as a slave in the market and by uh, killing them. So it's a role to show that to ISIS and all the world that women can defend themselves. <laughs> Now there's a new force for Islamic State to reckon with. It may not look like it, but this is the opening of a pop video that's had a million hits on YouTube and is rocking Kurdistan. It's from high-heeled, hair-swishing, hip-swinging Kurdish rock chick Heli Love. She's the raunchy, bang-bang, bling-bling cheerleader of the battle against the Caliphate. But her message is confused. Bullet bracelets and gold plate Kalashnikovs cheer on the peace-loving people of the world, resolved to keep on fighting. Heli Love, born in Iran, grew up a refugee in Finland. We are about three kilometers away from ISIS. Today, she's a tonic for the troops on the front line against misogynist IS. No wonder she's had death threats. It's pretty, um... Well, earlier, I managed to get through to Heli Love, who was in Erbil, and I began by asking her what inspires her music. I saw how the male and the females, they all got up and they went to fight against the, the most powerful enemy in history and without any kind of military training or any kind of plan. So that really gave me goosebumps. Well, are you giving Peshmerga fighters goosebumps? <laughs> uh, I think I am. I mean, I am speaking for them and it's their voice. How do the Peshmerga fighters react to you? They are very supportive of me because uh, the message that I carry has went viral to in very big medias around the world and so many people are hearing it. And really it's not just the story of Kurdistan, it's the story of the whole world. So for that I think people can relate to that. Your video is pretty violent, but you're singing about peace. <laughs> well, you have to really listen to the the lyrics that i speak with you have to really i mean this is the most dangerous terrorist group uh, ever existed so you can't go there and uh, uh, hand them flowers so you have to go with full force the message is very clear it's all about peace and freedom and stop the war but are you personally at risk because of the role that you're playing of course i have gotten myself in a little trouble um but Again, I believe standing for something that you believe in. And I'm okay with anything that happens to me because I've taken this journey and, I've, and I, I accept anything that can happen to me because this is who I am. This is what my country goes through. And there's millions of people who are suffering. So if I, my life is on risk, then I'm okay with that.
So it's your message in part, I haven't got a gun, but I have got a voice. Yes, I do say that a lot, that when this war first happened, I felt like I wanted to be in the part of, in, I wanted to take a part in this war, but I felt my weapon is not a, a gun. My weapon is the music. And through my music and through my art, I can get the voice uh, to millions of other people uh, from those who, uh, whose voice has been uh, shot down. Your video must have been pretty expensive. I mean, you had tanks, you had a lot of people, you had explosives. Who paid for it? <laughs> well, um, it's not always about the money. It's always about the idea that you want to bring. And everything that you saw was real. The people escaping for real people uh, were the real uh, victims of ISIS. The tanks are real, the Peshmergas are real. I di we didn't want any actors. We really want to show the, the true war, but also all these... Um, Everybody volunteered to really help us and put this together because we had to do it because nobody, nobody really knew what was going on here. So we felt like it was our duty to really um, make it happen. Do you think women in the Kurdish ranks frighten IS? <laughs> uh, yes, they are afraid of them because these women are so brave. They, they basically breast uh, feed their child at home and they leave everything and they take their weapon and they go to the front lines and they, they go against this powerful, strong terrorist group. Uh, like I say, without any kind of military training, you should be afraid of these women.